up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog we're here in the garage with a new part for the WRX I can't wait to show you guys and install it so here it is the brand new OLM V2 duckbill spoiler I can't wait to see what this thing looks like on the car so the install looks fairly easy we just take this spoiler off uh, by unscrewing one bolt after you take the liner off from the trunk unscrew that one bolt and it's stuck on with some adhesive we just kind of kind of have to carefully take it off which I'll show you guys so let's get to it so the first thing you're gonna do is take off the trunk liner which I already did there it is and it's attached with these clips easy you just kind of pry them open with the screwdriver and they just pop right out you got to be careful because they are kind of uh, fragile and they snap easily but then it gave you access to these holes here and then what you're supposed to do next is let me get my flashlight there's holes all the way back there if i can get the camera over there right there on each side of the the car so one right there in that square and one up there in that square but mine were actually missing which makes me think I think somebody might have been messing with this car before I purchased it. Okay, so after you took off the trunk liner and unscrewed those two screws on the edges, next thing to do is tear it off. I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, but I'm kind of just going to start prying away, loosening this up. Yep, popped off there. Okay. Something... Yep, something just flew off right there, but it's off. Not that bad. Um, I had to pull kind of hard. I'm not sure if this has been taken off and re-put on, um, but that makes me wonder why those screws here were missing on the inside. Just kind of weird, but it's it's off. Didn't really have to pull that hard. Not too bad. Okay, so after you have the spoiler off, as you can see, it's really dirty. So I'm definitely going to clean this up. And I suggest if anybody else does this, that they clean this up too, because that's pretty nasty. So I got it cleaned off. Now that I think about it, it definitely has to be cleaned off. I, that's definitely a requirement because you install the new spoiler with 3M double-sided tape. And obviously the double tape will, and obviously the double tape will adhere a lot easier on a clean surface. Next thing I'm going to do is do a quick uh, test fit without the tape on there, just to kind of get a feel of where this sits on the trunk and to get an idea where I need to put the tape. Now, flipping this spoiler over, I'm going to get one strip of 3M double-sided tape right here and one right along the other edge. Okay, so getting the first piece on here, I noticed a few things. You're definitely gonna wanna take your time, line it up with the little indent here on the spoiler. Go right along with it. I don't want any tape sticking out. I'm gonna be cutting these edges with a razor blade, as you can see when I ripped it, kinda made it messy. So I'm gonna be cutting the edges with a razor. Definitely keep the piece on that covers the sticky part because you don't wanna have dust and dirt falling on that piece while you're getting the other piece on. Now that I have both double-sided pieces of tape on, I'm gonna peel off the plastic and then attach it to the car. I kinda got the dry fit idea in my head. I'm gonna use my fingers to kinda line it up here, uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. Once you got it lined up and on, basically, you're definitely gonna wanna put some force into it, get this stuck onto the car better, because if you just place it on without giving it some pressure, it's definitely gonna have the tendency to pop off. So I close the trunk, pressing it on with some force. You have to kind of keep pressing it till it sticks. Oh my God. There we have it on the car. So right now it's only stuck on with the 3M tape. I think what I'm actually gonna do is, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick two screws in there just in case. Cause I don't know if I really like the idea of this wing being on only by double-sided tape. Look at that though. That looks awesome. So that basically sums up today's video. I just want to do the spoiler install on my 2018 WRX. It was the OLM V2 spoiler, duckbill spoiler. I think it turned out awesome. Let me, let me know what you guys think, how it looks in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you guys enjoyed this little install video. See you guys in the next one.